inga mana, inga reo, e roronga tira mā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa, Ngāti Whātua, o rākei, tēnā koutou. Good afternoon uh, and shalom. Um, can I first acknowledge Jin? What a beautiful rendition of Pokare Kariana. I think it brings out the emotion uh, of this occasion and a reminder of the people uh, who sang that song as members of the 28th Māori Battalion and how they served our country. Um, can I also acknowledge um, Vera Cooksiner uh, for giving us a, a personal account of what the Holocaust meant to your family and the tension, the suffering, the trauma uh, that the Holocaust caused. And acknowledging Bob and Frida um, over here, also Holocaust survivors, other survivors and their families. Uh, can I acknowledge Deborah, you and the Holocaust Centre and the people who've worked so hard to, re to remind us of what we need to remember about what the Holocaust meant. Uh, can I acknowledge Priyanka Radhakrishnan, uh, Minister, uh, our MPs, uh, Melissa and David. Uh, can I acknowledge uh, fellow speakers um, and all uh, who are here today because this occasion is an important one to us. Uh, Holocaust Remembrance Day is held on the anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. Uh, this year, 77 years ago today, or I think in European time, probably tomorrow. And why do we have a, a Holocaust Remembrance Day? Uh, yes, the obvious thing is because we want to remember the incredible suffering and losses imposed on innocent people by the Nazis during the Holocaust. But we also have it to remember the lessons that we need to learn from what led to the Holocaust and how we can prevent similar occurrences. The ranks of those who personally remember the Holocaust are of course thinning and memories fade, but it is important to remember those things. And there's an old saying that those who don't remember the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. And sadly, the history of our world since the end of the Second World War is replete with examples of repeated incidences of genocide and crimes against humanity. We think of Cambodia, we think of Rwanda, we think of Srebrenica, we think of what has happened to the Rohingya people in Burma. We should also be aware of the evil that exists in our world, the extremist movements like Al-Qaeda and ISIS that show utter disrespect for humanity. That there are individuals filled with hate-filled ideology, like the man that slaughtered 77 young people in a Norwegian labour youth camp some years ago, and more recently here in our own nation at the Christchurch mosques. Anti-Semitism has not only persisted, but there is evidence that in some parts of the world it is growing. That's a pretty depressing scenario, but I draw some comfort from the, the lovely words entered by Anne Frank in her diary, where she said, in spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. And that's a belief that I share, that most human beings do possess the qualities of kindness, of fairness, and of compassion. But in order that the majority of us can prevail against evil, we need to do, as Deborah suggested in her comments, we cannot be bystanders, we must be upstanders. We must be prepared to show zero tolerance towards prejudice, racism, and bigotry. How can we best honour the memory of those who died in the Holocaust? And it is by resisting racism. It is by resisting extreme nationalism. It's by resisting the populist 
politicians that use opportunities to appeal to prejudice to win support. Today, we are gathered here to remember the suffering and the deaths of those who were killed in the Holocaust. We are here to remember and to honour those who risked their lives to save the people the Nazis were hunting, like uh, Raoul Wallenberg, uh, Vera. We're here to remember, in this place, the Hall of Memories, those who sacrificed their lives to fight against fascism and the Nazis. And here in this Hall of Memories, we remember those of our own families who passed away. On the wall over there is the name Raymond John Goff, my uncle, killed serving with the RNZAF in the Second World War, aged just 19. We remember the second, the New Zealand uh, uh, second uh, expeditionary force, I should say, in the 28th Maori Battalion, and how they served with courage and determination in Greece, in North Africa, and Italy and other spheres. And most of all, today, while remembering all of those people, we renew our own commitment to oppose, to resist, to defeat the ideologies which, which relegate people to a subhuman status based on prejudice against their race, colour and creed lest we forget. Thank you very much.